I have created one beam here. So now I am just going to use extrude frame to shells. So extrude frame to shells, we can click from here. And after here, we already seen linear extrusion. Now we are just going to see radial extrusion. So I'm just selecting this cursor and then selecting the beam. So you can able to see here one frame selected and now you can give the values. So it is something like pick one point on model. So you just select it and then you pick this point. So that the X and Y coordinate automatically will be updated. And after you can give angle numbers and then if you need any drop you can give. So this angle in the sense you need to give the uh, angle like uh, 15 something like that. So here in number you can give 360 divided by the angle. So 24 numbers it will be created and the drop 0 I am putting. So keep the cursor over OK you can able to see how it is. So you can specify the angle accordingly. For example, if you need a 25 degree angle, so you can just go for 360 divided by 25. So this is what you will get. Otherwise, if you want a 10, so and then 14 number. So you can specify 360 divided by 10. So like this you will get actually now I am just going to take 20 and then 360 divided by 20 and just keeping the cursor over OK. It is looking like this. OK. If you want to change you can change for example 15 360 divided by 15. Just keep the cursor over OK for preview and then apply. So now we applied. So can you able to see how we created uh, from frame to shells, from frame to circular shells we have created with the angle of 15 degree and number of 24. Now we will have a drop value, then we will see what it is and just undo. Okay. Now I'm just going to select the same frame, one frame selected. Now I'm just also going to give you the drop value. So drop value, how much you need. For example, if you need a 12 meter, you can go for and then you can give the angle and the number. So it will show you the preview as it is. But once you applied, you can able to see the difference in 3D view. So I just now applied. So can you able to see like it is something like connecting to the lower floors as well because we have a drop of 12 meter. So from that point you will get drop of 12 meter and it will spread accordingly in that direction. In that pathway it will spread like 24 numbers with 15 degree. So can you able to see it? So like this you can able to use extrude frame to shells option in that especially radial extrusion method.